Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we're going to try to make a face landmark detection and what we're trying to do is given a face it should be able to detect these essential landmarks. So these are the eyebrows, the eyes, the jawline, the lips, the nose. So these things should be detected and we are using a pre-trained library, a pre-trained model and especially working with a D-lib. So I'll, I'll show you how we can set it up. But uh, there are many essential features or many essential applications that we can develop on top of this like face more, face swap, even the drowsiness detection, trying to see whether a truck driver is sleeping or not. So these are quite a bit of applications that we can come up with if we can identify what are these essential components. So we, if we keep a track of whether the eye is closed and open, we can come to know it based on these points. So uh, it is a very essential, very nice feature. And uh, this was this is about five or six years old, if I'm not mistaken. And let's see how we can set it up. The first thing you want to do is download this uh, data file. And this is the shape predictor, which is a 68 face landmarks detector. You can go ahead and download this from here. I'll share the link in the description below. Now, what is what is it that we're doing? So the 68 shape detector, it's nothing but the points on the face. So if you see the 1 to 17, that describes the face outline. And then you have 18 to 22 for the eyebrows, then the 23 to 27 for the right eyebrow, the left eyebrow, the eyes, the nose, then the lips. So these are all description of where the points are on the face. And once, uh, the, the, once you give the, uh, the description of the face to the predictor of this guy, the shape detector, landmark detector, it will give out these points in the face for you. And it's being trained, it seems to be being trained on this iBug uh, database, which is here. And uh, they had about, if I'm not mistaken, they had about 4,700, some, some images. They had, they had a big database and they looked into all those and these are all the landmarks that they had and that's where the 68 uh, landmarks is coming up from and uh, they trained this library it's a very accurate very accurate and very efficient and very fast to be honest with respect to uh, especially the computer which i'm running it's uh, pretty slow overall especially for machine learning uh, algorithms and this is running very fast on my computer so uh, let's see how we can how we can code this into a program so I have this face landmark detection.py open up here and we're going to be using our webcam to do live landmark detection. It's a very simple, easy program, uh, just 31 lines of code here. So the first step you want to do is import these two things. So once you have downloaded the shape face detector in your project file, you need to import CV2 and DLib and how to install CV2 and DLib, you go into the command line and you do, you do pip install open CV Python and this is for installing Python. I already so I, I already have it. I don't want to do it, but uh, if you want to install Py, uh, OpenCV, you do you do it that way. And if you have to install Dlib, you just do pip install Dlib, and it'll download it for you and install. So once you have those two libraries in your folder, you import OpenCV and the Dlib, and let's start your webcam by calling the video capture device. So you're ca calling video capture zero, which is nothing but your default camera. And it will read using the open CV video capture command and it will store that in this capture variable called cap. Now these are two things. So one is the hog face detector. That is one you, that is one thing that you have to utilize from DLib and the face landmark predictor using the shape predictor. So what are these two things? This is the face detection now, if you have seen my previous videos that we have discussed or we have seen hard cascade face detection and uh, there are also other face detection like the CNN models. But in order for this guy to run, in order for the DLIP face landmark detector, we have to use the hog face detector, which is given by this get frontal face detector, because the output of this get frontal face detector is what is compatible with shape predictor and it has to be in that format and unless and until your format comes out in this it won't work so it has to be the hog face detector using the get frontal face detector i tried doing this with the hard cascade and it did not work so 
the, the only way you can do it is by using the get frontal face detector so once you have that initialized you also you, you're also initializing the shape predictor at the same time and then you just simply go into the infinite loop of reading your webcam images and then doing face landmark detection so i'll uh, let me un uh, let me comment this portion of the uh yeah until here let me comment this portion and then slowly uncomment everything as i go forward so here in this step you're reading the image out of your webcam by using the cap dot read command and it will read one frame by frame from your webcam and then store that into this variable called frame so the first thing with regards to uh, image processing in most of these machine learning algorithms is you want to convert that into grayscale and you do that by using uh, convert color in this function convert color from OpenCV and you use color BGR to gray. So you're converting BGR to gray and you're using BGR because OpenCV reads it in the BGR format and then you're converting into a grayscale because uh, all these machine learning libraries they were trained on grayscale images it's uh, it's easy and it's uh, computationally less intensive so grayscale is what is being preferred for many many other reasons and once you have the grayscale image obtained you are detecting the faces using the hog face detector that we had initialized earlier here and you are detecting you're passing the grayscale image into your hog face detector and detecting all the faces so this faces that are being detected here it will it will have all the information about where your face is in the image so it will give you the coordinates of uh, the top left corner and then the bottom right corner of the face and it once you have the face detected now you want to pass that into your landmark detection so you are going to once you know where your faces are you just take uh, depending on how many faces they are you're just calling for face in faces and you're taking that face and you're passing to your dlib face landmark predictor which is here which you guys uh, initialized here so you will be doing dlib face landmark and you will be calling that and you'll be passing the grayscale image and also the coordinates of your face which will be given by this this face variable which we are taking from here so once you provide these two things it will uh, obtain all the landmarks all the landmarks and all the information uh, of, of uh, where these so it will give all the landmarks which are which are nothing but the 68 points that we saw here it will give information of where these uh, all these 68 points are available in that grayscale image so it will give it will out, uh, extract all that information and then pull up here so uh, once you have obtained all the landmarks once you have uh, detected and it has given you all the landmarks you just want to go ahead and draw or put it on your image and you can do that by I'm, I'm what i'm doing is i'm just uh, calling it into the range of 0 to 68 so every all the landmark within between 0 to 68 should be pulled and then drawn and you're cause calling it by the using the face landmarks and then part 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 going up to 68 and you're using the x coordinate from there and you're also using the y coordinate and once you know the x and y coordinate you it's uh, just a matter of drawing the circle by using OpenCV circle frame x y so you're drawing it on the main main image which is nothing but the frame that we took here and that's the colored image so you're drawing it on the colored image no longer the grayscale image grayscale image was only being used to detect the landmarks and the faces and once you know where the images once you know where the landmarks is then you can simply draw it on the colored image so you use cv circle frame x y and that's the x and y coordinate of each landmark one by one because it's going to go through all the 68 points 68 landmarks and then draw one by one so this is the radius of the circle that's going to be drawn and in this case i've chosen one and this is the color so it's 0 255 255 which is nothing but yellow color and you know, the thickness of the circle is going to be one once you have drawn the circle on each landmark you just simply uncomment the i am show and you can simply display it on the window what you do is i am show face landmarks and now you can uh, display the colored image from here and once you do it you do need the wait key command 
it's so that the I am show function can work and you're using the wait key function in order to display it once the whole application runs everything is done then you just want to release your capture variable the, which is reading your webcam images and you're also destroying all the windows so the this code will be in the github and uh, you can download it from the description below and if you run into any issues you let me know it's a simple code nothing nothing too crazy but this will set the this will create the basis for us and we'll be doing some other much more exciting applications in the future so let's run this uh, code and see how it looks like so i have okay so it's now pulling up now it's reading the webcam and it's taking my image and it's also drawing the let me take out my classes and see if it's possible if it's comfortable to see how the images and points are looking like so you can see it's pretty much efficient with respect to and uh, we're doing this live so there is no lag with regards to the frame count and the frame rate so this is good uh, it loses when i'm uh, when the orientation of the face changes but uh, in terms of if the face as long as the face is straight it's pretty much efficient and fast so you now we know how easy it is to set it up we go back into the code and uh, if, if you are interested only in the region which is the face say for example if you if you were only interested in the outline of the face you can just go ahead and say okay um, we're not interested in 0 to 68 we are only interested in 0 to 17 I guess I think we took one more point over there 0 to 16 should be because we are starting the array from 0 0 to 16 should do it and let's draw this and see how it looks like so we can see that now it's only taking the outline of the jaw if, similarly if you're only interested in the eyes or the nose or the eyebrows you can specify what points you're interested in so uh, now we can see we are it's only drawing the outline of the face so it's a pretty very very fast detector and very easy to uh, implement and run and uh, in the future we'll also see how we can make different types of other applications like the drowsiness detection whether someone is sleeping or not while driving uh, things like that and uh, we'll also see how we can create our own predictor our own data file for our own uh, images so it, it looks uh, exciting and if it's something that you're interested uh, leave a comment and leave a like subscribe to the channel to follow along my journey in learning these exciting applications so until then, stay safe, take care, thank you, bye-bye.